welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. What's going on, everybody? It's Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Friday night live stream for November 19th. Guys, what is going on? Any minute now. As usual, you guys should be filing up into uh, the sign over here. And it looks like we've got Subtegral in the house. Sub is in the house. The first one that pops in there. Thanks so much for jumping on there, Sub. I appreciate you. Randy Molina, of course. Guys, give me the thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me okay and see me okay. I want to make sure that everything is looking good and sounding good for you guys. Stay frosty from Drew's Food Reviews popping in. Welcome, 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 guys. It is great to see you all here on a nice snowy Friday night. Great to see you guys. Ed Keaton says my phone was acting up, which is why I missed the stream last week. But that is the reason that I actually have those replays available for you as well. So thank you so much for, uh, for jumping on Ed. Great to see you. Great to see you. I'm glad we can uh, have you here in the chat. Joshua, what's going on? All right. Let's see here. Let me shoot on up and see what we've got here. Michael Domer is giving me the thumbs up. Excellent. Freddie Foodie King is taking care of business, obviously, there. Thank you so much for sharing. That is too funny, Freddy Foodie King. Lord Darkseid in the house. We've got Erna, 785. The 80s are back. They never left. They never left. Drew's Food Reviews. Happy Friday situation to you. Tiffany Shields, Randy Molina. Great to see you guys here tonight as usual. Let's see as we shoot on down. Bus 7332 starting us off with a super chat donation of the first one of the night, actually. Let's kick off the weekend with a chat with Ian. Thank you so much for jumping on bus as always. And like I always kind of segue into, should you guys wish to donate to the channel in some way, shape, or form, you'll find some information down below in the description box, as well as the first pinned comment on the replay, if you're catching this on the replay there. So thank you in advance. As you guys know, I'm a one-man show. Everything you're seeing is designed, produced, and implemented by yours truly. Um, and a little goes a long way. So should you guys want to donate, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, in advance for that there. Let's see here. Uh, Ed Keaton in the, in the house as well. Thanks so much for jumping on. Michael Domer as we're catching up in the chat. Larry Nuya and what it do. Austin Busey, love your videos. Thank you. I have a lot of fun making them. They are a blast to put together. And it's always a, a love letter for you guys to put out the content that I do. I have a lot of fun creating, but I love creating for you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Tiffany Shields wants to know if it's going to be some Motu. Very possibly. Wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Thomas McDonald. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Constance Cherry. Let's see here. Uh, Michael DeMayer is saying to Drew, it's 36 degrees in Detroit. No doubt it's really starting to feel like the holiday season here. Even though I've got my little fan going here, we've still got a little bit of a chilly situation, which is such a change of pace compared to what we're used to here in Southern Cali. It's really nice to kind of have a little bit more of a decent fall type situation when it comes to weather. Uh, let's see here. Definitely glad to be a little on the cooler side, I should say, Larry. Not not necessarily cold. And you guys saw Drew, obviously, the poor cat was getting shocked in the lobby right there. If you guys notice, there's a little animated cat sitting on that easy chair right by the window underneath where the timer is counting down with the electricity going right there. Definitely a lot of fun uh, for that there. We got to think of a name for that cat. So uh, maybe if you guys want to put some uh, suggestions in over here i may even put a poll actually up on the uh, on my page on youtube maybe we can see if we can name that cat uh see if we can get a nice name for it there but subtegral in the house as well sub is in the house good old mr grumpy himself as he likes to be known from the other people in the community here welcome 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 sub passive aggressiveness is always appreciated thank you so much for being here scott messerschmidt thanks so much for jumping on Welcome, welcome, welcome. ScottRush.com, looking cool and blue. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought it kind of contrast a little bit with the green and the red behind me here. So we're trying to keep that holiday theme going. And uh, we'll see what's up. McRoy Nagato, what's going on? Welcome. Ben Nguyen, we've got Freddie Foodie King, of course, in the house. Still taking care of business, no doubt. Nice to see you on here, Freddie. Thanks so much for being a part of the community, as always. Your positivity is always infectious, my friend, always. Larry Nguyen, today is your birthday. You just turned 43. Larry, let's just jump right on into it. And while I'm doing this right now, if you guys want to put some birthday cakes here in the chat, let's hit it off right now. So without further ado for Larry, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Larry. Happy birthday to you. Health, happiness, and success, like I always say, in that order. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your 40, 43rd year on the planet. Going another year around the sun here. So uh, I appreciate you uh, jumping on here as always and being one of my main supporters here along with everybody else here in the community. Um, I see you guys every week and those names definitely stand out and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so cool. Look at you guys jumping in here with all the happy birthday goodness right there. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. 
Very nice. Very nice. Maureen Descatado, welcome. Good evening, good evening. Great to see you guys. We've got Annette Cervantes. Had Jollibee today. Yes, I got to tell you, I'm already a little tired of Jollibee. Not necessarily because I'm just tired of the food. I'm just, there's a lot of content coming your way. <laughs> so I'm going to be stretching some things naturally, but it was a, it was a blast to kick that off earlier in the week. Um, and it was a really good time for that. Speaking of which, just to kind of go down the line really quickly here. There has been a lot going on here, naturally. Um, let's just kicking it off with that spicy double black bean burrito, which we talked about last week. Uh, but then going right into the pancake minis from Duncan. That was an impromptu review. I had no intention of reviewing that. Um, my wifey was actually down the street shopping. And so I figured, you know what? I was going to jump on over to Duncan, grab a nice coffee. But I always have camera equipment in my car. I don't know if I should be advertising that here on the internet like that, but um, I do keep a few things just in case I want to use, you know, naturally some filming opportunities if they arise, if I don't have my regular stuff. But fortunately, everything worked out that day. It was secluded in the very back of where Duncan is, where I go. Um, and it was fun to shoot that out there, and it was really a lot of fun. And it's what I expected. If you guys know about the pancake minis, you already know what it is. But a uh, little birdie told me about the homestyle mac and cheese coming back over to uh to Popeyes naturally. They've had that stuff before, but this is a newer version of it, newer recipe. Um so that was an easy way to get me on over to check that out because I love mac and cheese. You guys all know. I think I said that in the video. I love mac and cheese. It's definitely one of my favorite comfort foods. And then which by the way, that was a pivot because that video wasn't intended initially. So the Jollibee stuff was a little bit changed slightly. Uh, but as you're seeing there, I thought I'd let it ride for one day and then come out with the spicy version of the chicken, which today, which you guys are noticing, um, as well as the original day before, um, day before yesterday, I should say. Um, but good times in terms of the uh, the good stuff there from Jollibee, and it was definitely a lot of fun. So you'll be seeing a little bit more from Jollibee as a little time goes by, but you know, not necessarily all up front. I don't want to be too front loaded. Um, but at the same time, you have uh, some fun stuff coming your way. I think the one that you're going to see on Sunday it's probably going to be something it's kind of like an add-on to what i've been doing for something and i figured you know what just to get this out of the way and i may have mentioned it already in the past we'll see if you guys can pick out what that may be um, but you'll most likely see that on sunday and then the replay will naturally be up on saturday uh, the 20th so if you're catching this after 12 on uh, on the 20th on saturday welcome to the replay everything is down below all the major sponsors of the channel will be listed there all of you guys super chatting paypaling away you guys are always listed there i greatly appreciate that um, as well but a lot of fun stuff as well too guys like i said coming up for this next week or two there's going to be some uh, some nice stuff so should be fun for you guys as well as for me to keep creating which is always fun all right dom's world in the house as well thanks so much for jumping on and Ed cervantes again welcome thanks so much i know you jolly bee is definitely the bomb that spicy chicken sandwich or the chicken witch um easily the better of the two i, I like that video a little bit better than the original one that i did um but the spicy one the, i love the footage that that sandwich was beautiful <laughs> It was really good, uh, but good times over there. Uh, let's see. Annette, why aren't I dressed as a turkey? Well, it's not quite Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> it's not quite Thanksgiving yet. I know with that coming up for uh, for next week, naturally. Uh, well, technically, it's going to be uh, Black Friday at that time. So uh, I think I will be streaming on that next Friday. It didn't even occur to me. That's right. Next week is Black Friday. Um, so we'll have to see about that. But most likely, yes. Uh, let's see. Dove coolness. Is the cat male or female? I'm going to say female. Let's say the cat is a, is a female. It's a sweet little sweet kitty. So we'll, uh, we'll just go with the female. See if we can get some female names. We'll have to see there. All right. Going on down the line. Let's see here. Who else we've got? Lynn Singer. Thanks so much for jumping on. Appreciate you. Trying to pull some other names we haven't mentioned just yet as it's getting thicker and thicker. We've got 38 plus peeps in the house. I've actually got a little bit more on my side here from the portal, um, but hopefully that'll update there. I use a different type of applet that gives me these details, so it's a little delayed slightly. Uh, we'll see here. Shelly, what's going on? Welcome. Thanks so much for jumping on there. Larry Nguyen, don't try the spaghetti at Jollibee's. Too sweet. <laughs> I'm not saying anything about anything anymore with Jollibee. I just, I can't really. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, let's see. Freddy says he can't wait for Jollibee for next year. It's definitely a pretty tasty spot. I can see why a lot of peeps dig it. Really, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Ed Keaton, will you be catching Ghostbusters Afterlife? I really want to watch the movie. Um, I just can't bring myself to actually go into the theater just yet. I'm going to kind of let it really kind of let it ride and not really catch anything online if I can. I'm trying not to look at anything. Um, but I really, that's how it's been my, you know, what I've been doing with the movies, actually. I've been letting him kind of go for a couple of weeks and then I kind of tiptoe, you know, in because it's, you know, naturally I don't really feel 100% comfortable yet. Um, but I miss it. I definitely miss it. And of course, Ghostbusters will be the next one for sure. I definitely want to watch that. 
Drew, wait till you try the gravy with the chicken. Moving right along, Drew. <laughs> I wish I could talk about stuff, but we, we're not going to get into it right now. All right. Spicy chicken sounds good. Yes, yes, McRoy. Um, McRoy Nagato. It was. I mean, I love the footage in that. The chicken patty was awesome. It was definitely, it seemed like it was a little bit of a fresher situation, too. And those jalapenos, so different, you know, compared to regular fast food jalapenos. I was very impressed. Uh, very impressed with the quality of that. It was really good. And it looks like Freddie's going to be getting one in Orlando. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Sub, what did I think of Eternals? I haven't watched that one yet. The wifey wants to go watch that. And we haven't, I haven't had an opportunity to. I have been very, the last, literally, since that movie has come out, I have been extremely busy. Um, so I haven't been able to, uh, to go. Shang-Chi was the last one that I saw. And that was a couple of weeks out after it had come out. But I do want to see the Eternals. I definitely do um, at the same time. I see. I hear a lot of mixed things about it, but I just want to kind of go in and just see what it's about. Have you seen a fun fact? Did you know that one of the main actors in Ghostbusters was actually voted six? Yeah, I know. Paul Rudd. It's pretty crazy. The Trips. The Trips. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Very cool. Thanks so much for being here. Jason Callen was lucky enough to find the Ghostbusters advent calendar. Just got my They Live Alien Funko Pop. Cool. Very cool. That is, that is awesome. You got to love that stuff, Jason, for sure. And Erna, Super Chat Donation, jumping up over here in just a second. You'll see it if you haven't seen it already. It's going to be coming down over here as well. I appreciate you. Wham, Careless Whisper. We already know what that is. That's a classic right there. And there you go, Erna. In effect, thanks so much for that, as always. Min Lee, thank you so much for jumping on. How are you? Great to see you. Great to see you here. Another couple of minutes and we'll get started. Just like going through the chat here as much as I can with you guys. I mean, the chat, it really begins to kind of stretch and it does different things as the hour goes by. So I'm trying to make sure I acknowledge as many of you guys as I can before you start saying, how come he's not answering my question? <laughs> so I'm trying to get this going as quick as I can for you. ScottRush.com, my favorite era for rap is 2021. For me, it's going to be the 90s, believe it or not. I like the mixture of, uh, of hip hop, a little bit of techno, believe it or not, with it. They did a lot of crazy things in the 90s, but uh, it's a little bit more formula, I think, nowadays. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting older. I don't know. So we'll see. Let's see here. Archangel should seriously... Should I seriously bother trying Popeye's hottie chicken sandwich? You seem to enjoy it a lot. It was tasty. I mean, the sauce itself for me, I wish it was a little bit thicker. That was the only thing. I mean, it's a little bit more of a runnier sauce. Almost kind of like, you know, when you have like maple syrup and sometimes it's like really, really thick, like the quality stuff. Like if I go to IHOP, when I used to go to IHOP back in the day when we were all doing things normally, um, the syrup was always the thickest and it was just awesome having like that. But there were some times in some places where the syrup is like water, like the syrup at McDonald's for their breakfasts. It's like water. So it's something like that, but the flavor is OK. But it's the Popeye's chicken sandwich, so you really can't fade it. I mean, it's tasty. I was getting more of a sweet heat vibe from what I remember from that. So it's worth checking out at least once. Um, ironically, when I went to go do the other uh, review for Popeye's for their um, their chicken or not the chicken, the mac and cheese, um, the person I was speaking with in the store was that we were talking about it and they were saying that it's not really doing too well, I guess, I guess based upon that location. I don't know. Um, but no one's really kind of picking it up specifically for that. You know, it's like, you know, they ask for it, but they don't ask for the sandwich with it on it. That type of thing. So, you know, it's marketing. It is what it is. I guess Megan the Stallion, she actually owns some Popeye's franchises as well. So that's the incentive, I think, to kind of do that as well on top of her popularity for um, for music and stuff. So there, there's a reason for everything. It's no coincidence. Uh, but Archangel, I would recommend at least giving it a shot just to try because it is different. It's a newer sauce. It's just not as thick as I would personally like. So we'll have to see. All right, let's see. Jason Callen, Shang-Chi was awesome as well. Have I seen? Uh, Titan, I haven't seen yet. No, it's an amazing uh, body horror film that I hated the uh, Suspiria remake. You know what? The Suspiria one wasn't bad, actually. I, I thought it was OK. You know, it was OK for what it was. Um, the atmosphere was cool, um, but you can't fade the original. I mean, of course you can. It, it just there's no way to top that. And you already know, being in a horror movie aficionado, uh, just in general, Jason, on top of that, too. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Sub says that that will end in 2030. Hopefully, no, that is not true. <laughs> we got to move on from it. Uh, let's see. Jaime Green, never saw you do a soul food review. You know, I haven't really had any too much that, that's classified, I guess, in that way. Um, I don't really kind of like some of uh, some of the options, I guess, out there. Uh, green beans and stuff like that, too, maybe. I don't know. I'm just not my thing. But who knows? I mean, depending upon uh, 
cuisine and, and the item at the same time, maybe expanding my horizons just a bit. I'm open to trying just about anything, really. Let's see here. Jackie Hero Food Reviews. Thanks so much for jumping on, Jackie. Great to see you on here as well. We got a lot of amazing peeps in the house here right now. A lot of other awesome content creators, as you're noticing. Anything you're seeing in those those uh, the avatar names right there, Jackie Hero Food Reviews, Drew's Food Reviews, Jason Callen also in there as well, too, that way. The Trips. These are all some pretty awesome, amazing content creators that do the do, and they do it in a very positive light here on, the, on their channels, and it really makes a huge difference. So definitely jump on over and take a look. Like, share, comment, and subscribe as always. Erna Hart, These Dreams, does anyone know? That's a classic song right over there. Classic, Erna. Classic, classic, classic. All right. So as we're about to get into the first little thing to take a look at real quick here before we jump into the review, that uh, actually there's a couple of them. There's going to be a couple of things you guys are going to take a look at tonight as well as a couple of other things too. So we'll have some fun throughout the hour here in between uh, chatting it up here as normal. Let me just see the last couple of things here. Ben, just tried Popeye's mac and cheese style. So good. Yes, it is definitely. You think it's better than Chick-fil-A? I don't think it's better than that. I don't think I, I think I said that in the review. I don't think it's better than Chick-fil-A. Um, Chick-fil-A had a little bit more of a robust flavor because of the Romano and Parmesan. And it was still the baked goodness on the top. This one's more of just a straight cheddar, you know, shredded cheddar situation. But it's creamy, buttery, and it's got that that really that home feeling. It's comfort food. It's really comfort food. $3.49, though, for me here in Southern Cali is a little pricey for that small little cup, though. I mean, that was really not a not a good situation with that but it's tasty mac and cheese and uh, it was really fun to check out for sure so i'm glad you dug it what's your favorite thanksgiving side dish oh for me it's gonna have to be stuffing i love stuffing even though i kind of get stuffed on the stuffing i love the, this the saltiness and just the overall flavor of stuffing mashed potatoes and gravy uh, all that stuff there maybe a little baked mac and cheese believe it or not i usually like to get that thrown in there if possible which is always good. Ed so finally saw Halloween Kills on Peacock. Very cool. Yes, it's definitely... Uh, I enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed it. I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with the final part of it next Halloween. And that's going to be what's going to be looking forward to there, uh, for sure. Sub, does everyone live on chicken sandwiches? Well, if you have to choose one particular fast food item to live on, I'd probably consider maybe that out of the proteins. At least, you know, not necessarily because it's fried, because naturally that's not good in general every single day. But... Between that and standard regular meat, you know, cow meat or beef, of course, chicken's going to be better for you. So um, depends upon the type of chicken sandwiches, if anything there. Jason, Sour Patch Kids popcorn is something you should peep out. I saw that, Jason. I've seen that. And, and honestly, I don't know. I don't know about that. But ironically, you may see something somewhat similar here in a few minutes. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say until we get to it, uh, for sure. Let's see here. Last couple of things as well. It's all about the stuffing. Freddy Foodie King, absolutely. You already know. Uh, let's see here. ScottRush.com. Not all content creators are positive. Some are grumpy and hate new music and films and stuff. Hey, whatever works for them. I mean, that's the thing about YouTube. It's personalities. It's different types of choices and options. Um, I, 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 there's a place for it all. Believe me, there's an audience for everyone and everything um, at the same time. So more power to you. If that's the, if that's the angle people go with, then by all means, enjoy it. There's going to be people to watch that for sure. I just know what I know, what I, what I like personally, as everybody else does, we're all individuals. And yeah, I agree with that. You know, you see some interesting things online, but that's what makes it interesting, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Sammy, what's going on? Thanks so much for jumping on. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. It's great to see you on here. Hopefully you're doing okay from uh, from last week with everything there. Uh, let's see. Min Lee, have you ever watched the Summer or Winter Olympic Games? Yes, I have for sure. Absolutely. And believe it or not, I think the one after next is coming back to Los Angeles for the first time since 1984 um, when I was 11 years old. And man, I feel old saying that right now. But yes, it's going to be uh, pretty crazy. Mitz, pretty lady, what's going on? Can you do a new item from Wendy's? As soon as they come out with a, with a real new one, believe me, I always do them. So uh, that's always on my radar. All these places are on my radar. So absolutely, I'll be making some uh, some rounds there very, very soon. And Lynn Sanger, yes, awesome sausage stuffing. I probably should have prefaced that. My sister has made that in the past, and sausage stuffing is the bomb. It's a straight-up bomb. Freddy Foodie King can probably attest to that um, as well. It's good times over there as well, too. All right, guys, let's get into the first thing to take a look at over here. So because it was mentioned earlier, we're going to break off into one of the new Wave 7 Masters of the Universe action figure line, which is actually arriving here before uh, Wave 6 for me. But I wanted to take a look at the, one of the first ones here off of that wave. And this is a classic from when I was a kid, the Sorceress, the heroic guardian of Castle Grayskull in her classic colors right there. She's got the bird head. 
and that mask right there and just the whole everything about this i mean the staff you can kind of see in the background well it's like you know kind of like right over here right where my finger is right down over here on the very back um but just the classic style guys and just a nice sculpt it looks very clean the colors look pretty awesome well, you guys were fans of masters of the universe when you were a kid do you remember the sorceress she was the, always the one reaching out to he-man and all that stuff as well this one is uh it's pretty nice you know for what it is this actually comes with the uh, Castle Grayskull playset in an all-white edition. So these are the classic colors. And on the very back, Freddy, sausage stuffing, Betty approved. You already know what it is. <laughs> Imbued with the magical abilities from the Pool of Power, the wise sorceress watches over Eternia for when it needs He-Man for protection. So looks very, very cool. The artwork, of course, is a banging situation here. Trying to keep the focus as much as possible. There we go. I think we got it right in the middle. As you can see, very lovely situation. This one here, her wings spread out. And very, very sweet. Twist into powerful battle positions. And you'll see the other ones on the bottom, which is new for 22. This, that she, those are the other three as part of the uh, this Wave 7. So you're going to see one other one from that group a little bit later on. I won't say which, but you'll see them coming up. And then naturally we have uh, the regular group that are right there as well. So, very cool. The Sorceress. I never had this character. Uh, on its own actually back in the day, but something very very cool to uh, check out and another little piece of my childhood for you guys <laughs> as always Oh, yes, love he-man back in the day Freddy you already know Good times sub they only showed he-man Turned back into Adam once yes, and it was epic. You know what? I don't really remember how that was actually done more than that time to be honest there sub That's interesting to say that it was either you saw him change and then next thing you know Adam showed up somewhere in the episode so I have to really go back. What episode was that? I'd love to know. <laughs> that would be interesting to see. So good times indeed there. Good times indeed. So let's see who else we've got in here. It's Teela's mom. Yes, Tiffany Shields. That's not the newer canon with that there. As Teela is supposed to take over as the uh, sorceress after the, uh, after the main sorceress. Very cool. Always a fan of that there. And which, by the way, on the 23rd, which is actually when I have some family coming into town for the holidays. It's going to be a very stressful schedule for me to kind of create as well as do my stuff normally there. It's going to be a lot of fun for that week. Um, we actually have the uh, Revelation Part 2, which I'm super excited for on Netflix. I'm going to be blowing that out. I'm just, It's going to be a very, very fun, fun weekend uh, for sure. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun with that. So let's see. Min likes the Christmas theme. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm always big on the holidays. I love being able to kind of give a little bit of flair and like I said before, if you guys are, are watching me for the full hour, I want to give you something a little bit more interactive to look at instead of just me, myself, and I, naturally. Which is nothing wrong with that. If you guys like that, I'm, I'm happy for you. I appreciate it. But I want to give you guys something, uh, something more visually to kind of keep you in the mood. So if you guys are having some hot chocolate, you're having whatever, um, I want to give you a little bit more of an extension of my channel, naturally, to give you that quality goodness right there as well. So thank you so much. I'm glad you're digging it. Uh, let's see, James Morrison, what would be your first choice to portray He-Man in the modern day of real life? Wow, you know what? It's kind of hard to say because you'd really want to get somebody completely built for it. I mean, nothing against Dolph Lundgren. He didn't really look, I mean, he was too tall, I thought, not as stocky the way He-Man should have been. I hate to say it, but probably John Cena in costume wouldn't be horrible. If they really did it like legit, like you really kind of did the hair... Kind of maybe like a Conan the Barbarian type of thing. Um, but you know, the first person that jumps to mind just physique-wise um, would be probably John Cena. I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong here in the chat right now, but I mean, him as Peacemaker and Suicide Squad was pretty good. So um, we'll have to see. But naturally, you don't want somebody too old because you want them to carry the franchise because you know they would make more than one movie naturally. That's the goal. Um, and naturally, there's so much lore and mythology with Masters of the Universe. They can, they can mine that for years if they really wanted to. So... I'll have to see. You know, naturally, I would probably say maybe uh, maybe along those lines. Uh, first person to think of, just off the top of my head anyway, um, of course. Uh, let's see here. Sub says, doesn't know which episode, just remember it blew my mind. You have to, I, you really got me curious now. I'm very curious about that. Jason, cool. My sister's got me some heavy metal related action figures for Christmas. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Now's the time for that stuff. Believe me, I'm telling you. And there's a lot of heavy metal action figure goodness you can get there. Usually um, the company NECA is one that makes it, N-E-C-A. Um, they make a lot of different ones um, as well. Um, so there's a lot of different options out there for sure. Erna, Ian and the other 80s folks here, do you remember the song John Waite, Missing You? Yeah, of course. It peaked at number one. I remember that song. I'll be missing you. 
I'm not missing you. He was really good. That was the one with the spiky red hair. Remember the short spiky red hair back in the day. Freddy's drinking coffee. I'm drinking some warm water right now. It kind of helps my throat with the amount of talking that I do, uh, for sure. Drew says you can dye your hair blonde and I can be He-Man. You know what? A fun fact. I'm going to give you a little bit of something here. I'm probably going to get lit up for this. But when I was in college, I actually did a little bit of something like that. Um, I kind of streaked here and there, uh, which was kind of funny. Like blonde streaks or just like different types of stuff. And I have like, I'm thinking just a few pictures of that. Um with an old girlfriend back in the day actually as well so yeah it's a little uh, a little little crazy back then i mean i'm in my I was in my what my early 20s come on it is what it is uh retro yees let's see question go for it drop it on here before we get started on the main food review or one of the food reviews actually here we'll get started here waiting for that question coming from retro Min Lee, I think Jollibee is open right near you. Yes, Min, and I've already been there a few times, actually. A couple of videos are live on the channel now. So you guys can take a look at uh, what's there. It's basically the chicken sandwich stuff initially, just to get it started, of course. You already know. Randy Molina, how was your adorable cat or kitten? Uh, let's see, Randy Molina, how was your adorable cat or kitten your last? Randy, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> if you're talking about we got to figure out some names for the uh, the cat in the front of the uh, the lobby, um, let me know if you have any options there. Jason, speaking of NECA, my buddy John got me the Halloween 3 action figure. Oh, very cool. The three trick-or-treaters. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I saw they have a Mike, they have a bunch of Michael Myers action figures um, from that company. And there's another one um, from the ho original Halloween, well, the new Halloween movies that they have out as well, too, um, that I've seen. The Target section, I see those all over the place uh, for that. Have you seen it? Speaking of the Sorcerer's He-Man, have you ever seen He-Man internet song? Music video meme. You know what? I may have in passing, but nothing that I remember offhand. So if somebody wants to send me that on social media, please do. <laughs> I'd be curious to check that out. Triple H would make a great He-Man. He's a little too old for it now, though. He, I think physique-wise, maybe 15 years ago, yes. Um, and the size, and obviously, I think that would have been, uh, been different, possibly. But yeah, but going by now, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Retro. How can I start a food review? How can I start food reviews on YouTube? I want to try my hand at the review. You know what? Very easy thing. Just jump in retro. Everybody starts off at zero. We all start off in the very bottom and just, you know, you trial by fire. There's really no way, shape or form. You have an idea of how you think it's going to go. And then it turns into something completely different when you watch it. Um, the video that you thought was amazing that you just put out, if it's one of your first ones, you'll come back two years later. And you'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe I can't watch that because it's so cringe. But at the same time, that's how you get good. So I would say, you know what? Don't put too much thought into it. Just do it. Just make something, you know, pull from a lot of other creators that you may see in terms of inspiration, the way they may do things and the way that they do it there, but make it your own. And then naturally you'll just begin to find that it just kind of becomes natural for you over time there. Some videos may be better than others. Everybody goes through that, but definitely um, you have to just jump in and do it. You know, you ever hear the, there's a, something called analysis, uh, paralysis by analysis. And if you constantly analyze your situation, you'll never start. <laughs> so analysis paralysis essentially is another way to look at it there. So just do it. And uh, believe me, if something is meant to be for you as you're putting the work into it there and you're enjoying it and you're growing, the goal is to enjoy the process, to grow with the process, to make it evolve. And then it becomes hopefully a brand for you. And then naturally it becomes more of a, a name or that you can kind of people would recognize as time goes by but believe me you know 99 percent of it is the journey up and that's really once you there's really no way to begin except at the bottom and just just go for it you know seriously once all of your family and friends advertise or they actually subscribe to your channel that's when the real fun begins because now you get to really see what's going to work for you and just have fun with it just have fun with it um, that's the best advice i can give you is don't think too hard about it um the internet can be a brutal place sometimes but at the same time, if you keep it in perspective, just have fun with it. And, um, you know, reach out to people that can maybe give you a hand as well, too, and give you some pointers. I'd be happy to as well, um, which is always fun to do here. So thank you for asking that. I know a lot of people probably do ask, is it is it something that you can still do today? And yes, you can. Um, anybody can, for sure. Uh, retro. Let's see here. Been watching you since 2016. Oh, so you know then. So you know. And you're one of my faves, and I'm honored that you answered my question. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm very humbled by that. I'm very humbled by that. But um, it's all a matter of, like I said, just the growth and looking back on your portfolio as time goes by. But you got to start, and you got to just make it make it work for you there. But I'd be happy to share some things with you if you like. 
um, as well, too. There's a lot of great people in the community. A lot of them are on here in the chat right now, believe it or not, as well. So very proactive group of, uh, of peeps that we've got here right now. Very cool. Yes, Freddie, there you go right there. Do what you have a passion for and people will watch. Absolutely. And if you want to see some passion, jump on over to Freddie Foodie King. He's hilarious. He's got a passion for what he does and the way that he does it uh, for sure. Very, very fun. Gary C., what is the highest earning review you've made? You know, I do. I give out a lot of tens, and I guess a lot of people can look at that a lot of different ways because I always base it on what I'm having, how the experience is there. So it's really kind of a loaded question. Um, but let's just say I have a lot of fun creating. A lot of the ones that I put a lot of my time and effort into um, usually are like, you know, some of the longer ones. I have a way that I'm, I'm able to produce my stuff very quick now. But at the same time, um, it, it's the ability to know that what you're watching is not something that I've kind of just phoned in you know that type of thing i always want to make sure that you get the best experience because i never want to cheat the viewer um i definitely want to make sure that you guys have the same quality that you see every video from me um some may be a little bit longer some may be a little bit shorter but generally you're going to get um, a lot of the main focal points and and the b-rolls and the things like that that i like to kind of pepper in there while i'm doing my thing so um a lot of stuff i've given a lot of high reviews to be honest there gary so it's really a lot of uh out of third, almost like 1,300 plus videos that I put out right now, it's it's a huge amount. It's a huge amount. Which, speaking of which, we're making one right now, live with you guys, and you're watching this on the replay. So without a doubt, if you guys are ready for the first food review, give me a Christmas tree in the chat over here. I probably should have said in the very beginning, and I always, I've always i been saying this, make sure you have that emoji tab, Emojipedia tab open somewhere so you can actually put in there. Or just on your keypad, you can like type in, the emoji but if you're ready for it let's see some um some christmas trees here very curious to see how many who's going to jump in lord dark side jumps in over there very cool very cool sub have ever reached 60 live stream viewers i've actually been over 100 on, a, on more than one occasion there sub in the past actually even when i was in my car doing it believe it or not but it, it averages it goes up and down so we've got a bunch of christmas trees coming in here right now Charles, let's see, have you ever been to Hardee's? Well, Carl's Jr., uh, but we have Hardee's in the Midwest. Yes, just we have Carl's Jr. out this way. Uh, Ian, referring to, oh, which review have you earned most oh, money on YouTube with? Oh, there's, there's a bunch of them. Um, wow. Well, the Mac and Cheetos one is always a huge one, there because that one is just a massive amount of views. So it naturally has been creeping since. So just right off the top, right over there, it's going to be that one, because naturally that's the one that has like a 200 and... 200,000 plus views, something along those lines, which was good. And um, I should actually take that back. Believe it or not, with less views, but it was a little bit more better um, in terms of income was the Popeye's stuff. Um, once those things really kind of blew up and the chicken sandwich was everywhere, those those videos, for some reason, really jumped in there. And then more recently, the Italian original chicken sandwich um, just really just kind of spiked also, which has been pretty crazy. So it's been it's been crazy right now. It's been crazy. So let's see. All right, there we go. We got all these trees in effect here right now. Freddy Foodie King is like, what's going on with Freddy here? What is he doing? Can you dig it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, from Randy Macho Man Savage. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, very cool. I think we've stalled long enough here right now. Let's go into it here. Guys, I was actually, if you guys saw my IG story um, a few days ago, I was actually over at Target, um, doing a little shopping, just taking care of a few things. And I stopped in just to get a couple of things. And of course I kind of mosey over to the holiday section just to kind of see what's there. And I came across, uh, some things that were really kind of cool looking. And I was like, wow, there's like a whole selection of things I'd probably want to do here and there throughout the holidays. So one of them I jumped out with and my sister's like, you got to do that because this looks, looks crazy. And I've seen this before, but I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, because we've got the whole holiday thing going. I might as well do this towards the very beginning of the uh, holiday season there, which is what we're in. So guys, this is going to be interesting because honestly, I don't know how this works, but obviously there was some type of test market somewhere and they said, yes, the combination of this is going to work. So without a doubt, we're going to jump into the first review from Smart Food. It's Captain Crunch Berries Mary Berry Popcorn Mix. And Smart Food is kind of a health brand, which is kind of crazy, but they're tiptoeing into the holiday stuff here. And naturally, what we've got here is exactly what it sounds like. You've got Captain Crunch Crunch Berries mixed with popcorn. And I don't know about this combination. I mean, I get the whole sweet and savory, sweet and salty, I guess. But um, I don't know. According to this here, deck the halls with berry flavored popcorn and Captain Crunch Berries limited holiday flavor. I don't know. Have you guys had this? If you guys have had this, give me a red circle 
here in the chat just to kind of simulate a red berry here, a crunch berry, but a limited holiday flavor with this. I was like, okay, this sounds like it could be kind of good at the same time. I mean, it's popcorn, it's crunch berries. I don't have any milk naturally. I probably just for fun probably should have maybe had this like cereal, right? That would have been kind of gross, but <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see here. Gary C. Reddit says Cheetos wings at Applebee's are disgusting. I haven't seen anything on those just yet. Um, I have no idea about. Uh, I've seen the the thing for it, um, but I haven't seen those just yet. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to see about that. I know Apple all these little special flavors like a Buffalo Wild Wings and Applebee's. Um, they're they're exclusive to those places there naturally. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know about this either, um, Annette. I'm the same. I'm in the same boat with you right now. I mean, I I kind of get the idea of what the popcorn's going to be in the crunch berry because I've had those before, and many of you guys probably have as well. But together, that's going to be interesting. So before I crack this open, let's see: six servings per container, about a three quarters of a cup here is 140 calories, six grams of fat, 20 carbs. Naturally, I don't think anyone cares about that if you're buying this because you want crunch berries and popcorn together. But I like the name. Mary Berry Popcorn Mix. So without further ado, let's get into it here. Let's peek this out, right? That's the whole point of this right now. So I'm not even going to look inside. I'm going to look inside one time with you guys. And so far, I see more popcorn than I do crunch berries. Maybe one right there. Hang on. Let's see how much is really crunch berries. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. There's some green ones in here, too. You see the green in there? We got green and red. And of course, we've got half a bag. Another boo-boo situation here. I don't. I'm tired of getting ripped off by these companies where they don't pack the bags. This was like three forty-nine too. It was on sale for like two for seven. Um, but I guess what it, what does it go for normally here? Can't even tell. Can't even tell actually. But deck the halls. I didn't even notice it was green. Oh yeah, it is green and red. Take a look right there on the very top. I thought it was just the red ones. So I guess that's kind of cool, right? I mean, we'll have to see. But, obviously, it's more popcorn than anything else. So, let me see if I can grab some of this here. I'm going to grab, see if I can get some green. So far, it is mostly popcorn, guys. Hang on, hang on. Okay, there we go. Killing a bunch of kernels here. Okay. I can already tell how this is... <laughs> this is interesting. All right. This is their idea of a crunch berry. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than I remember from the cereal, but boo boo -ness. <laughs> I'm going to take a crunch berry and a couple of kernels here and give this a shot. The kernels are actually pretty nice. I, you know, they actually look, and I'm, it's a little contrast here right there as it tries to focus, but let's just try this. The Smart Food Captain Crunch Berries Mary Berry Popcorn Mix. Here we go. Mmm. Crunch berry is vibrant. That is really strong, but it's exactly like having dried cereal. Exactly. Mmm. Whoa. Annette, I wasn't sure about it either, but I have to admit, the crunch berry, let me grab one here again. The problem with this is they don't have enough in them. It's a lot more popcorn, but they're very small. They're very small, so... I like it. It actually works very well. The saltiness, the popcorn is pretty strong. But the sweetness of the crunch berry is really good. But there's not nearly enough of them in here. At least from what I'm seeing. Unless something kind of settled in the bag. So I'll try and shake this up here. Hopefully this is not killing you guys. Oh, here we go. They all came up over here. Okay, let me show you this here. Take a look at that. It's much better. You kind of have to shake the bag. To really kind of get a good a good feel for it but okay that's that's a lot better i was a little worried there for a second there it all kind of settled towards the bottom but my only problem with this is that they're kind of like they take them and they split them in half so i know the ones that come with the cereal are a lot bigger but let's see it's so sweet savory buttery and crunchy not so much buttery as it is salty and sweet but i like it you know what it is the flavor of the crunch berries is actually the dust of it is kind of on all the other popcorn kernels a little bit as well too so you're getting more of a sweeter vibe with this which is pretty nice so even though i'm having just the straight kernels by themselves they actually have a little bit of that flavor so it's vibrant enough for that but 
Like I said, I was a little concerned because it didn't seem like there was a lot of berries in there. I like it, though. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I mean, it kind of makes you feel like you want to have cereal on um, without milk. It's like, if for, for some of you guys, I mean, for crunch berries, I do that, actually. When I, had the, when I was buying these, or when I had them as a kid, I would always eat them out of the box, you know, like that, too. So, again, just to give you an idea, a little on the small side in there. They're very, very small, but they have the flavor is strong, which is nice. Sub crack me up shaking the bag. Hey, you got to make sure you're not getting ripped off. So this is actually a lot better. It's a lot better. There's a lot more of them on the bottom. So when you guys get this, make sure you shake the bag up pretty good before you pop it. I didn't know because it is what it is. So these, these reviews are live. If you're catching us on the replay, it was a live thing, naturally. But the popcorn is good. Okay. Let me grab some water real quick. I'm pretty impressed with that. It's not bad. All right. So overall, for the smart food, Crun Captain Crunch Crunch Berries Mary Berry Popcorn Mix, I think I'm going to do like a... A 7.3. I'm going to do my birth year for this one. A 7.3. I mean, it's not outrageous, but it's the flavor of crunch berries, which are pretty nice. I mean, the flavor is strong. I just wish the crunch berries kind of looked a little bit more like they look on the package here. Now, I know it says, you know, typically these things are enlarged to show detail, that type of thing. So what you're seeing here, it is what it is. Um, what do they say on the bottom here? Oh, it says here, clearly the products have been enlarged to show texture. That's hilarious. Clearly, it says. Look at that right over here. Right over here. Hopefully, that'll focus in. I really want that to focus in. Oh, please focus in. Focus. Well, you can kind of see it says, clearly, the product has been enlarged to show texture. So, obviously, you're not going to get popcorn kernels that are this size. But, guys, it actually is not bad. $350, it's okay. I mean, it's a little bit pricey for this. I mean, the bag itself, I wish it was a little bit more full. But, the flavor is decent. The saltiness is decent. And the flavor of the crunch berries is pretty spot on. I mean, it's crunch berries from Captain Crunch. So not bad from this. And again, Smart Food's somewhat of a health brand, I guess, with the exception of the holiday mix, a limited edition flavor here. So not bad. Not bad. 73, 7.3. Um, it's all right. <laughs> It'll get eaten. It'll get eaten. So we'll have to see. All right. Mr. Jimmy, mi familia. Thanks so much for jumping on. Great to see you. Hope everything is okay with the little one here. Um, we, we missed you today. Missed you today. Let's see. Michael Domer, I always shake a bag after I open it. <laughs> you know, it's what it is, Mike. It's what you got to do, unfortunately. Um, but yes, unfortunately for that, that's, um, you know, it is what it is with that. But tasty to check out. And like I said, I think the wifey will like it. Let's see. Moat Brain Cool R2D2 shirt. Yes, I love this. I've had this shirt, believe it or not, since 2015 when The Force Awakens came out. That was a huge thing. These things were actually available at Kohl's. And I only wish at the time I actually got the Boba Fett and Darth Vader version of them um, as well. But the R2D2 one has been my favorite. I've, pretty much I wear this one religiously. <laughs> I love it. It's always good. Scott says I would fill those bags. It's full of it. Open up in the semi-trailer. Pick up chips at altitude, which is why I don't fill the bags up, pop them open. Cool. Well, that would explain. I think maybe that's why they do that, possibly. But it's just that when you get it, it kind of is what it is. Oh, let's see. Smart food, Captain Crunch berries look really good from Jackie Hero. Yeah, you know, honestly, I was on the fence with it. My sister was like, you should do that. It looked like it would be really tasty. So, you know, it works. I got to admit it works. And I think I'm I'm very excited to try what we're going to check and look at here in just a little while here, believe it or not, because I can't believe it's a quarter to nine already here. So we're going to have to move along here. Let's see. James says he predicts a Stratos unveiling. You think so? Out of those three? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right. Let's see. Freddy Kudu, Freddy King, they say they don't pack them because they want to preserve the quality. I would take a little bit of quantity and maybe a little bit more filled up in the bag. To get, you could still have room for them to move, um, but they can definitely move with it there, uh, so to speak. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So let's see here. Lord Darkseid, his mind is cookie crisp. Nice. Very nice. Larry Nguyen, $1.99. Are you out of your mind? What is that all about? <laughs> 
I would say maybe at the most for that, I would probably say, well, 349 is about average, but 299, I think that's fine, <laughs> to be honest. 50 cents, I know it's 50 cents, but what sounds better, 349 or 299? Yes, Erna, Karate Kid, of course. And naturally with uh, Co Cobra Kai Season 4 coming, I can't wait for that as well. Which, ironically, kind of leads me into who we're going to take a look at here next, because we got to jump into that next review already coming up over here. So, uh, let's see. Sub, what should you get from Taco Bell? Grilled cheese burrito. Easy. Easily. 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 So, talking about Cobra Kai, Karate Kid, and if you guys are doing process of elimination based upon the early Masters of the Universe Sorceress action figure you saw, second one from the line is going to be Jitsu. So, the nice little segue there. The evil master of martial arts. Now, guys, back in the day, he was actually the uh, combatant against Fisto that had the huge fist on his side over here. And he actually had the ability to pull up his arm right over here and flick, flick it back. It was like a rubber band on the inside so you can chop, chop and do what he needed to do right over there. There's no action feature. It's pretty much just for show this time around. But the look is pretty cool. I mean, the head sculpt and everything about it is a little bit updated, but generally it's the exact same figure. Looks pretty awesome at the same time. And on the very back, you can kind of see the showing here. Let's see. Ever searching for an opponent who can match him in combat, Jitsu challenges the energies, the channel's dark energies to enhance his fighting power. So he's actually whacking away at He-Man right over there, but very cool. And if you take a look here on the upper right hand, well, here on my side anyway, if you guys know who that character is right there, that it looks like it's Cyclone, which should be coming down the line at some point in 2022, which was another He-Man doppelganger looking character, but a very cool twist type of feature that he had. So very cool um, with this one over here. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. But Cyclone was awesome. He has like that yellow and blue translucent look to him, but very cool. I really can't wait to see that. It's going to be awesome. And naturally... We've got the others. So obviously with uh, Jitsu and the Sorceress already looked at here, we've got Stratos and Buzz Off next. So for the next stream, you guys have something to look forward to right over there. I kind of wanted to mix it up just a little bit there as well. Um, but very cool. Another awesome one. I never had this character until now, um, but I have all of them. I'm all caught up with uh, every single one aside from the new ones. Uh, Wave 6 is on uh, pre-order, so I don't have that one shipped out just yet. Um, but that has some cool ones. But Jitsu, very, very cool on this particular one very very slick stuff there annette grilled cheese burrito gordita crunch crunch wrap supreme yes sub has got some great choices right over there tiffany shields i never had snake mountain by the time that actually came out i had already moved away from new york um away from all of that here to california um and i wasn't uh pretty much i didn't have a lot of uh stuff to actually have or basically play with at that point everything was kind of moved out kind of quickly um, and I kind of got out of He-Man a little bit then, although I've always had a, fa a passing fancy with it. I've been always watching it over the years. Um, but Castle Grayskull I had back in the day, um, which is somewhere in storage somewhere. But the new version, thanks to Mr. Mi Familia, is up over there um, as well. So it's definitely a Snake Mountain will be at some point in the future. I have no doubt that will come out at some point next year. It has to. I mean, it's you need that. And I think they're kind of alluding to it. Um, because it's available in a lot of the artwork, a lot of the newer things. So hopefully we'll see that um, unveiled uh, soon enough there as well, too. So let's see. 911 Scene Observer from Rosemead, California. Thanks so much for jumping in. You're pretty close to where I'm at. That's awesome. I'm a fair in Pasadena. Erna, do you believe in ghosts? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. James Morrison, how many of your Motu figures have you bought in store? You know what? I want to say maybe six or seven, and the rest were mail order. Um, six or seven, roughly. Six or seven. Because the rest of them kind of came out already, and I was already past my time, so I had to find the deals to get them delivered. Double steak grilled cheese burrito. There you go. To Sub. He's getting a lot of love on what to put out there as well. Sub. Got out of He-Man? Yep. It was a little bit of a crazy time for me when I was 11 years old when I came out to California. Staying with my aunt for a while, and then we moved into a place, and, you know, I was a little kid, and, you know, things were, it was, it was different. I kind of had a little bit of an interruption in my early years, <laughs> and things became what they became. So I'm kind of reliving a lot of that stuff there. Uh, Freddy, call me crazy, earning 75, but I've witnessed paranormal activity. A lot of people have. There's a lot of interesting things there. Tiffany, I always wanted the attorney a play set, but my mom wouldn't pay 200 for it. Yes, I remember that back then with the whole monorail conveyor belt thing with the big lion in the middle. Um, never had that either. Um, crazy stuff there. Crazy stuff. 
All right, guys, as we're coming up on 10 minutes to the hour already, it's crazy right now. Uh, Christopher, yes, I definitely want to check out Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I do want to see it. I'm going to have to wait just a little bit of time, though. That's the only thing. So no spoilers, no spoilers. I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. And yes, Smoke Brain, I appreciate that. I appreciate hitting the uh, thumbs up down below if you guys haven't already. And if you've made it this far into the live review or the replay, definitely smash the like button down below. It goes a long way. Thank you so much to all my PayPalers and, and Super Chatters and everyone here for the donations as well. Of course, you guys, your names are down below. Erna, have you ever seen a UFO? Yes, actually, I have a couple of videos on Dropbox. Uh, Mr. Familia knows very well. Um, something that's pretty uh, pretty crazy. Something that I saw, I want to say, about a year ago that I filmed up on my sister's place. Um, and it's pretty crazy because it's been seen in a lot of other places across the country, ironically, like a, like a silver sphere that's kind of hovering around. I've seen some pretty crazy things. I think a lot of people have, and I have no doubt that we're being observed um, in some way, shape, or form, things are getting crazy in the community with that. So, all right. So if you guys are ready for the next review, let me see a snowman here in the chat. Who's jumping in with a snowman? Whose name can I shout out first over here for a snowman? Erna, can you show those UFO videos? I can find a way to maybe share the screen to do a Dropbox video uh, release. Maybe that would be something to do. Or maybe even on my Instagram story, maybe I can do something with that. I will have to see about that. Annette jumps in there with the snowman. There we go. We got Erno. We got Sub. Very cool. I appreciate that. Have you seen it? Have a nice day from Bomb Jovi. Yes, that's one of the more recent ones from back in the more recent era from them back then. But yes, <laughs> absolutely. We got Drew. We got Jackie. We got Moat Brain. We got, we got tons of snow. We got so much frosty action going on right now. We got frosty snow. Frosty the snowman. Over here, we got plenty of snow floating around. It is just, it is crazy right now. Okay, here comes another request from my sister. And I was like, all right, let's do this. Hey, by the way, I love those green. Is that a green snowman? That's cool. That's cool right there, jumping out. That looks really, really cool, actually. I don't know why I can't see. I see green on one side. I think it's the way the chat is actually converting it over from Mo Brain, but that looks pretty wild. I'm not seeing that on the main side. That's trippy. Let's see, Constance, my trees keep breaking my ornament. That's hilarious. <laughs> Cheeto snowflakes. That's too much. Now, you'd think that would be it. You'd think that would be it, Drew. I see you. I see what you're doing right there. I love all the snowmen right now. This is awesome. Talk about staying frosty. Guys, this is what it's all about right now. We're, we're staying frosty, but in a cozy environment. Cozy environment. Frosty action, opposite sticky hot. <laughs> there you go, Sub. It's a family channel. Keep it, keep it clean. Keep it clean. You already know. That is just craziness. All right. Very curious about this because up until recently, I haven't had actually what you're about to see right now. Actually, in lemon form, I have around Halloween time with some family, um, which was actually a really blast thing to check out. But from my sister also, when I saw this, I'm like, this looks pretty crazy because it's a whole bunch of different things. Have you guys seen this from Twizzlers? Pull and peel candy, cherry, green apple and lemonade together. Never seen this. This is a king size edition of this here. So it's got, I guess, probably, I guess, double the portion. But if you look on the side, it looks like there are different variations, but they're in Halloween or in a Halloween. They're Christmas colors uh, right here. But Twizzlers, pull and peel candy from Cherry Green Apple. Green Apple is what sold me. I'm going to tell you right now, Green Apple is like one of my all times right there. I love Green Apple anything. Jolly Rancher, Sour Candies any of those things so twizzler i was like yeah okay i'm gonna give this a go um because i definitely want to give this a go so let me rip this open and how do they want me to do this okay we're gonna go this way oh wow these are strong oh yeah whoa these are strong the force is strong with this one i think i just destroyed this package hang on let me try and get this open easier these are really strong okay here we go Look at these, guys. These look lovely. Almost like a crazy Christmas tree situation all the way around here, but they are strong. So let me pull one of these for you. Try and do this for you here. Pull it apart. Wow, these, these really have that fun feel to them here. Twizzlers, never heard of it. Really? It's a really festive, though. But take a look at this there, texture-wise. It feels like straight up plastic, as candy like this does. 
And it looks like I'm blindfolding myself here. Look at this. I'm blindfolded by the holidays. That just looks crazy. It looks kind of creepy. It's kind of a thumbnail right there. <laughs> but the flavor, though, how do you know which is which on this here? Which is the lemon? Let's try. Well, I guess we can tell here, right? Cherry, green apple, and lemon. Okay, so the lemon, I, well, it's not yellow because obviously they want it to be the white for the color. So the green apple is going to be the green. We have the cherry, which is the red. So let's try pulling. That didn't work. Hang on. That didn't work again. All right. Well, let's pull apart candy. Let me try and untwist this here because I want to get... I was hoping I can kind of pull these apart. Here we go. All right. Let's try this this way. Kind of fun, right? We got three of them right over here. Look at that. I think I did that almost perfectly. I guess it's three per. Three, six, nine. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. So let's try... It's not holding its composure, and I'm going kind of light. I guess I got to be careful with this here. Let's go the cherry first. Let's give this a shot. Mm hmm. Standard Twizzler cherry. Mmm. It's got an interesting flavor. Almost like a, a Luden's chewy cough drop, if you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go with the lemon first. Try and pull this apart lightly. They don't really hold their composure too well, I guess because the weight of it on one side because I'm pulling. But let's try the lemon, standard lemon right over here. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Lemon's not bad. Green apple. Let's give that a shot. Oh, yeah. Green apple by far. Hmm. Absolutely. And for this one, I think we'll just take it straight just like this. Should I just, just bite into this whole thing? Michael, where did you find them? This was at Target in the holiday section. Pull and peel candy from Twizzlers right over here. Let's see. Drew, I'm playing with my food. <laughs> Sub says the same thing. Let me just try a quick bite just with all of them together here right now. Mm. It's pull apart, but that's the way to eat it. Mmm. It's actually really good this way. Cherry, green apple, and lemonade. Artificially flavored, of course. Everything that a growing boy needs to eat. Mmm. These are good. What's the story with these here? One piece is 70 calories. It's not bad. 16 grams of sugar. Well, total carb is 16. Sugar is nine. And it has uh, added sugar, which is nine, which is obviously there, and less than a gram of protein. So 70 calories a pop for one of these with 16 grams of sugar. You can essentially have three of these, and that's pretty much like a can of Coke in terms of the amount of sugar because of the carb that's in it. So it's like I'm close to the 40 to 50, uh, 50 gram range. But these are good. I wouldn't pull these apart, to be honest. It's not worth doing that. It's better just eating them like this. I like it. All right. Overall score for this. Twizzler is pulling peeled candy. Mm, I'll do like an eight. It's good. It's good. I'd probably get this again if I saw this on the shelf right now. I probably would. TL, what's going on? How's it going? Doing well, doing well. Thank you so much for your donation to the channel. From overseas, the UK or Australia area, I want to say. Overseas. where? Which country are you from? I just ordered some acrylic cases, actually, from overseas for that. Using the uh, the distribution for the, um, the exchange rate. So I was very curious to know. But thank you. Thank you so much for the donation. And thank you so much for the... Uh, I'm glad you purchased one of those super stickers over there. That's so cool looking. That is so awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, yes... Definitely pretty awesome. Search these out, guys. These are actually pretty tasty. The combination of cherry, green apple, and lemonade goes pretty nice with this. I would probably recommend just having it just straight just this way. But one piece of 70 calories, it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. That's not bad. That's not bad. This is only like, I think, like a buck something. I think a dollar twenty-nine, something like that. Not too expensive at all. So very cool with that. Twizzlers pull and peel candy. It's kind of a little throwaway. I wanted to kind of just, you know, check this out as well. Aside from the smart food, naturally. 
Um, this actually is a nice little way to end it too, because that flavor is really kind of uh, kind of nice. It's going pretty nicely, believe it or not, with what's left over in my mouth from those crunch berries, believe it or not, which is kind of cool. So I'm definitely digging that. Definitely digging that. So very cool. We've got the, uh, let's see, the pear character lying on the side, raising his arm, saying, how's it going? That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Again, TL, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys, as we round it out, I can't believe it's nine o'clock already right now. This is a fast hour. Um, hopefully what you saw tonight was something that entertained you someone. It feels like it was like I've only been on for 10 minutes. I don't know. Um, it's really been a, a fun, quick hour tonight. It really is. Freddie, yes, like a candy cane. I agree. Check out the Target section because they've got a lot of really cool things over there for sure. Really, really cool. Yes, there it is from the UK, from TL. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. I greatly appreciate it. That's awesome. Larry, why do you hate Subway so much? What did they do to you? It's not what they did to me. It's me living off of it in my previous professional life for so many years. I got so tired of it. Um, and I just really was not not thrilled. And I knew once I started doing reviews, it's not something that I'd want to do, um, you know, to, to go down that road. I just, just me personally, it's a personal preference. But if we do hit certain milestones, and I don't know what it will be, it may be something, but hopefully at some point, maybe there will be something Subway related on the channel for those special occasions. So we'll have to see. I can't say anything more than that. I know that Drew is pushing for it. <laughs> and most of you guys are as well, but we'll have to see. Sammy. Hey, if you're still uh, if you're still here, Ian, I have to quit Burger King, got back to Wendy's, and now I'm general manager. Cool, 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 cool. You're back over at Wendy's again. You move fast, Sammy. You move fast. But that's awesome. That's awesome. I guess it wasn't, uh, it wasn't working out for you as well over there. Hope your health is okay, though, Sammy. That's the main thing. Hopefully uh, your health is okay. That's the main thing. That's very cool. Very cool. I'm glad everything is back to do um, what you need to do there. Obviously, with the holidays coming up, you already know. You already know. Let's see here. As we go down the line, Freddie, Ian is not the only one who hates Subway. So does Joey. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, it's, there is so much content out there to review. Um, it, it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. Honestly, it's, it would have to be something extremely special for that. And I know there's a, there's many of you out there that want to see it, believe me, but there's, and I almost broke down with that garlic bread situation, not that long ago, but I was like, mm, there's so many other things I'd rather do that I think would be better for me. And I know just in my own head, personally, I just, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. So we'll have to see. Randy Molina. Now, for those of you on live stream, I'll be back next Wednesday. Very cool. Randy Molina. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Not sure if I'm going to be doing an early one for next week, although that's a possibility. If that does happen, and maybe you'll see something advertised early, um, given that I do have some family coming into town as well, that may be something. So I, I have to really kind of think about that. I did not think about that at all um, as well. So if I do, then possibly there could be a possible stream on a pre-Thanksgiving stream. That would be something fun to do. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to shoot for doing something like that, to be honest, because I think it makes the most sense. Um, so with that, watch my social media for that there. I'll naturally post something at the community tab on my channel, letting you guys know that if that's the case. And uh, we will go with that there. Let's see. Apple One, why only fast food review? Which one? Just tonight or in general? <laughs> if, I see, if I see that question come up, I'll try and answer that again for you over there. But yes, we'll have to see about that because actually next week is Thanksgiving, which is crazy already, guys. We're already getting right down into into the into the bird the bird day, so to speak. It's all about uh, it's all about cooking that turkey. So we'll have to see what's going to happen with that. But um, naturally, I'm going to talk to you guys. I think before then. So let me just wish you guys for those who may not be on that stream for next week, just in case, um, a very happy Thanksgiving, a very happy and healthy holiday for uh, you and your family. Be safe, whatever you're doing naturally. And um, I think we're going to shoot for a pre-Thanksgiving stream. I think the more I'm thinking about it and the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm thinking it's going to be reality. So if you're watching this on the replay, um, keep tabs on my social media, on Instagram. All those handles are down below. Um, you'll be able to find ways to uh, to get in touch with me that way, and we'll figure out what we'll do. And uh, we'll figure out what uh, what's going to be uh, what's going to be next. So with that, let me jump on over here right now. Again, thank you to everyone who jumped on tonight. We have 51 plus that we're watching strong throughout the hour. I appreciate that. Sean says deep fried turkey or regular baked turkey. The deep fried is always banging, but that's a harder one to make. Um, but I've only had that once in my life, and I would like to actually have that again. It's pretty amazing, I got to tell you. Uh, let's see. A-Wolf, why is Halloween over? I agree, but you know what? Halloween is every day, as far as I'm concerned. If you're a fan of horror movies and all that good stuff, there's always time for it, uh, for sure. 
Guys, again, thanks for checking out a little bit of fun holiday goodness with the Crunchberry Action, the Mary Berry Popcorn Mix from Smart Food as well. As a little throwaway, just a little something in there. The Twizzlers pull and peel action. Not too bad. And of course, Masters of the Universe goodies with the Sorceress as well as Jitsu. Good times over there. So we'll take a look, obviously, at probably Thanksgiving. You know what two are coming then, and uh, we'll go with it there. So Apple One, why only fast food reviews in general? I love doing them. I love the marketing, and I love just uh, the networking with it, and there's just a lot to do with it at the same time, aside from little local things, too. Um, but it's mostly the fast foods goodness there as well, and uh, little things that are kind of peppered in to break up the monotony once in a while. Sammy, I love pumpkin pie. One of my all-time favorites. One of my all-time favorite treats that I've been getting a little bit too much lately um, is the uh, pumpkin and cream pie from Mickey D's. And they have a thing right now where if you buy a dollar drink, you know, you basically get a cookie or a pie for free. Um, so that one is a lovely situation. That's really, uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So with that, we're going to jump on over here real quick here, guys. Again, a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. If you're catching this on the replay after the fact, um, I hope you had a very happy holiday naturally. And again, please be enjoy all the goodness with your family and friends, of course. And uh, hey, well, if you rock Halloween food besties for life, you already know. Foodie besties, yes, absolutely. Freddy Foodie King again. Thanks so much for jumping on. Annette Cervantes, cherry pie is your favorite. Pumpkin for me, banana cream pie. Or coconut cream pie, I should say, is my uh, my second favorite. I definitely love that. Uh, the Marie Callender's frozen ones, it's all I can get right now because Marie Callender's is no longer uh, restaurant-wise in my area. Um, so it gets the job done, but it's not quite, not quite the same. But I love that one as well, too. So, guys, with that, let's just close it out officially here right now. Sub, you got people who love you. There are people who love you. You have family and you have friends. <laughs> Even here in the community. You've got people. It's much better to be positive and to be uh, and to, to err on the positive side of life than it is not. Believe me, you have a choice every day like we all do when we get up in the morning. Make it a positive one. Make it a good one. And uh, continue to do what makes you happy for sure. Subway sucks from Joey. You already know, Joey. You guys should be following Joey over on IG as well. He's got some motivational stuff and it's always just great stuff in general. Another positive soul, a good soul. Joey's World Tour 2021 on IG. Good times all across the board. And chances are the stream, I'm already, I'm letting you guys know, most likely it's going to be a pre-Thanksgiving stream on this coming Wednesday. So naturally, it's going to be the same time, 8 p.m. Wednesday. Let's just shoot for that. I'll put that on my schedule and we'll make sure we lock it in and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, I love you guys greatly. I appreciate you. Apple One, we love you. I love you too. <laughs> Lord Darkside, stay frosty, everyone. You guys already know what it is. Amazing content creators in effect here. We've got plenty of them here in the chat. Joey's World Tour, Drew's Food Reviews. Everybody here. We've got the trips watching out from the distance as well, too. They're from early on. Everybody, Jackie Hero Food Reviews as well. And everybody else who may be just kind of checking things out in the background and not making themselves known. Thank you for doing what you do and adding to the end to the conversation. Um, that's what it's all about. Freddie Foodie King, too. You already know what it is. Freddie, that goes without saying. It is what it is. So with that, a very happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm going to see you guys, it looks like, on Wednesday next week instead of Friday. And uh, we will wrap it up here, 8 p.m. on the 24th. Yes, you already know what it is. And uh, we will go from there. So, guys, thank you so much again for joining. As always, this is Ian K closing out the live stream officially for November 19th. Crazy, guys. We're rounding out into December very, very soon. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like I always say, Got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, everybody. Good times. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And uh, it is great creating for you guys. And it's just a blast to do. So uh, we'll see what we're going to do for next week. Most likely not a Black Friday stream, eh, Wolf? Um, it's going to be the holiday one, naturally. So we'll go with, we'll go with uh, Wednesday. I think that's going to be the better shoot there. So a uh, better way to go, I should say. So follow the uh, my IG, my uh, social media naturally, and take a look at the community tab on my channel. You'll probably see a post um, as well, and uh, we'll go from there. Sub, I'm going to see if I can find out where that happened. He-Man turning back into Adam. That would be something to take a look at uh, for sure. <laughs> Good times all across the board. All right, guys. I'm going to be on the stream here until it times out, typically about a minute or so after I click the uh, stop streaming because then the chat is still active. Um, so I'll do what I got to do right there. But shout outs to each and every one of you guys. Again, health, happiness, and success, not just because it's your birthday, but every single day. Do something positive. Do one good thing a day. Do something different, I should say. One different thing a day. And you'll find yourself kind of 
you know, kind of breaking certain boundaries and kind of opening up just a little bit with things, but just try and find the good in something. Because like I said, with, with what we're all going through right now, we need a little bit of that. We need a little bit of goodness. We need a little bit of something to kind of go into. And as we get into the holidays, even more so, it's even more profound that way. So be thankful for what you have, not what you don't. And definitely focus on making tomorrow a better day than it was today for you. Because naturally, the goal is to keep pushing it forward. So I love you guys greatly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sorry to get on the soapbox. I do it all, all the ways at the end for you. But I just want you to know my heart's in the right place. And I appreciate you guys to all my amazing mods and content creators here in the chat. Again, keep doing what you do because it's infectious. It inspires people. People like we just saw earlier, Gary, early on there, jump into the food review game, throw your hat into the fire. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. It's just, it's a blast once you get started and it's very addictive. That's all I have to say. But it's a positive hobby, right? It's a positive hobby. So, all right, guys, with that, thanks so much for jumping on. I will definitely catch up with you on the next stream, the pre Thanksgiving stream. Again, watch social media to death. I want to keep blasting it and blasting it. Um, and we'll keep you up to date on what's going to be um, during the week as we go. More food reviews coming this week, as always, and this weekend. And uh, it should be a lot of fun for you. So, with that, let me jump on over to my side. Everyone is saying goodbye to everybody, and I'll be here in the chat for just a little bit. And with that, peace. I'm out.